Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So we will continue our learning on original oil in place on well basis. Okay, in previous videos we have discussed about calculating the in place for the well. Okay, so you need to differentiate between the in place of the entire reservoir and the in place connected to each well. Okay, this discussion is about in place, original oil in place connected to each well. Okay, so it's the OOIP in well basis. All right, so we will advance. We will expand the case to the case where we want to predict the current state of the drainage radius. Okay, so we will use the same formula, but we will modify a little bit. Now we want to know the drainage radius. If you already know the cumulative oil production, now, what is the drainage radius? Okay, we need to know that. All right, so for that, I think I need to make a name here, merge center, and then just call it OIP, original oil in place, and make it 18 in size. Okay, and then here, want to make it here maybe, and expand it a little bit and then drainage radius okay and then I want to copy just copy it first I want to differentiate between the the radius of the reservoir with the drainage radius because later on we you you can see the difference between them okay so I just call it RD for drainage radius I want to call it and then for but yeah maybe we can just use it for starting value okay to activate other values like the area here so i maintain the formula for the area this is the conversion from meter square to acre and then let's say porosity the same with this previous case and let's say the initial water saturation also the same. All right. And then also for the thickness, the same. So just use equal there. And then initial volume factor, the same. So everything will be the same. All right. And then here for drainage radius, the recovery factor is not really relevant. It can be relevant, but I think you cannot say in a pure sense, in a very, you know, strict sense, the, the term is recovery factor, okay? Rather, I will call it efficiency, something like sweep efficiency, but just call it efficiency. Or maybe you can use symbol for efficiency. Usually they use, okay, wait a minute. For efficiency, usually they use this. All right. This is to, you know, you cannot drain all the oil perfectly on your drainage area or drainage radius or drainage area. You cannot. So if you produce from the well, the well cannot perfectly drain all the oil from the pores right down to the residual oil saturation okay there will be oil left behind on the pores you cannot extract them perfectly until you only have residual oil saturation so that's why i want to call it yeah you can call it recovery factor you can call it efficiency but to differentiate to distinguish this efficiency, this drainage efficiency or sweep efficiency from the recovery factor, I just use efficiency factor here, okay? And then actually here, EUR is not really relevant. It can be relevant, but just use it later on. And then cumulative oil production here, let's say it will be known. So let's say 
I know that my well currently reach the cumulative oil production of 2000 MSTB. Okay. At this point, I need to know the value of, okay, I just, maybe I can put it here, the value of residual oil saturation. So now for production to, to know the current drainage radius, you need to know the residual oil saturation. And let's say, just assume that the residual oil saturation is 0 0.2, right? Okay, from core analysis, you know that residual oil saturation is 0 0.2. And then it is it will be good if you also know the average oil saturation. Okay, just put it here. Let's say you know the average oil saturation. But I think if you don't have, you know, proper reservoir simulation, it will be very, very difficult to predict the current oil saturation, okay? So instead of knowing the oil saturation, the current oil saturation, I just use, or I just assume efficiency factor, okay? To know or to, to, to honor the fact that I cannot drain the oil perfectly down to residual oil saturation, I just borrow, I just use I just assume efficiency factor and the efficiency factor will represent the oil saturation whose value I don't know actually. Okay, so that's I'm going to use and let's say the drainage or the efficiency is 70%. Okay, and so let's calculate 